Welcome to Shujin Academy VGM Club. I'm Professor Tom, your faculty sponsor. Today's opening track is Sun Sun Samba from Ganbare Golf Boys for the PC Engine, composed by Atsuhiro Motoyama. If you're not familiar with it, Ganbare Golf Boys is an otome, a dating simulation aimed for a female audience, where you play as a high school girl who's joined the golf club, and as she learns golf, she also develops romantic relationships with the game's five male golfers. Actually, Ganbare Golf Boys is just another golf game for the PC Engine. But I really like the joke about it being a dating sim. Most importantly, for the purposes of this episode, though, it has a really fun, peppy soundtrack. Back in October of last year, I did an episode called Rose-Colored Pixels, which was all about happy game music, and it's the third most popular episode I've ever done. I'm all about chasing clout for social media infamy, which is why today's episode is a sequel full of more happy VGM. And I've got a ton of it. There are 27 tracks on this episode, which is nearly a record for songs I've played on a single episode. I needed so many songs because, on a spiritual level, I think everyone could use a dose of happiness. And on a practical level, all these tracks are very short, which may be an unintentional message from the universe on the fleeting nature of happiness. No time to dwell on that, though. Our first block of songs starts off with Pause Menu from the Pokemon trading card game for the Game Boy, composed by Ichiro Shimakura. I can honestly say that the Pokemon trading card game has my favorite soundtrack for a Game Boy Pokemon game. I was just getting out of high school when Pokemon launched as a franchise in the US, and so I don't have a lot of nostalgia for the early games in the series. Next up, it'll be Smash a Home Run Baseball Match from Dating Sim Foundational Text Tokimeki Memorial for the PC Engine CD. This was probably composed by Mikio Saito and his lovely flowing mane of black hair, but it could also have been done by Seiya Murai, Miki Higashino, Hiro Noguchi, or some combination thereof. Anyway, Tokimeki Memorial is to dating sims what Socrates is to Western philosophy. While it's not the first dating sim, it is the most impactful of the early dating sims. But wait, there's another baseball song after that. It's going to be Pitching and Fielding from the Super Nintendo port of Super Baseball 2020, composed by Jay Kuramochi and Hiro Ikeda. Super Baseball 2020 was originally a Neo Geo title about baseball in the future year 2020, played by cyborgs and robots on a field that grew increasingly full of landmines as the game went on, and it's one of the great disappointments of my life that actual baseball in the year 2020 was significantly less interesting than what my childhood had led me to hope for. Anyway, the SNES version of this game has a soundtrack that's quite a bit different from the original, along with a lot of other gameplay changes to fit a game for the home market instead of an arcade title. Moving on to the fourth song in the block, it'll be Hang Glider from Pilot Wings for the Super Nintendo, composed by Soyo Oka. Pilot Wings was as much of a tech demo for the SNES Mode 7 functionality as a game, but it did give us Miss Oka's excellent soundtrack, and this song feels like taking flight for an adventure. 
Song 5 in the block is Tingu Man from Mega Man and Bass for the Super Nintendo, or maybe it should be Tingu Man from Rockman and Forte for the Super Famicom, and I say that because we didn't actually get this version of the game here in North America, but we did get the Game Boy Advance port. I'm going with the American title, because I think it's a title more well-known to anyone who's out there searching for this. I couldn't find individual track credits, but this song was composed by some combination of Toshihiko Horiyama, Naoshi Mizuta, and Akari Kaida. The Block's secret sixth song is not actually a secret at all, I just like alliteration. It's going to be Afternoon Break from Persona 3 for the PS2, composed by show favorite Shoji Meguro. This is a track that plays during your afternoons in Persona 3, where you get to be free from school and just have fun as a teenager. The stupendous smiling seventh song in the block is Bustling Street from Landstalker for the Genesis, composed by Motuaki Takanouchi. I'm not familiar with this game, but I do know Takanouchi is best known for his work on the Shining Force series, including being the composer for Shining Force 2. This track feels like shopping at a busy market on a sunny day, where there are cool new trinkets in every shop and around every corner. And finally, the block closes with Blue Town from Saga Frontier for the PlayStation, composed by early Saga franchise composer Kenji Ito. Much like Live Alive, Saga Frontier is a non-linear JRPG from Square's Golden Age that's been remastered for modern hardware, but unlike Live Alive, Saga Frontier was actually translated into English for its original release. Now, let's get happy with some songs.
those songs were Pause Menu from Pokemon Trading Card Game, Smash a Home Run Baseball Match from Tokimeki Memorial, Pitching and Fielding from Super Baseball 2020, Hang Glider from Pilot Wings, Tingu Man from Mega Man and Bass, Afternoon Break from Persona 3, Bustling Street from Landstalker, and Blue Town from Saga Frontier. Now, let's talk about our next set of happy tracks. We'll start off the music segment with Opa Opa from the arcade version of foundational cute em up game Fantasy Zone, composed by Sega legend Hiroshi Kawaguchi. After that, we're going to hear Stage 2 Magical Town from McDonald's Treasure Land Adventure, everybody's favorite licensed game for the Genesis that was created by famed development house Treasure. It was composed by Katsuhiro Suzuki, and it actually sounds a little like a Michael Jackson song to me, which is funny, because the third song in the block is actually from a game where Michael Jackson contributed to the soundtrack. That's right, it's from Sonic the Hedgehog 3, and it's Angel Island Zone Act 1. And while the King of Pop did indeed work on this game, this specific song comes from some combination of Tatsuyuki Maeda, Sachio Oga. Masayuki Nagao, Masanori Hikichi, and Tomonori Sawada. My love for Persona soundtracks is well documented, and the fourth and fifth songs in our block both belong to Persona spin-off games. Song 4 is the upbeat Specialist Nevermore P4D Edit version from Persona 4 Dancing All Night, which both is and is not a video game music track, depending on how you want to define things. The original Specialist is a song on the Persona 4 soundtrack, but the version we'll be hearing first appeared on the Nevermore Reincarnation Persona 4 album, which featured arranged tracks and remixes from Persona 4. But it's also a song from a video game, because Atlas used this remix in the Persona 4 Dancing All Night rhythm game. The dance routine in this song from Dancing All Night has also also found life as a meme, with the sunglasses-wearing Persona 4 protagonist dancing his way into taunting the memer's enemies. The original song was composed by Shoji Meguro, while this specific remix was done by Atsuji Kitajo. I can't get enough of Atsushi Kitajo today, because song number 5 is another Kitajo track. It's the incredibly catchy and positive Popcorn from Persona Q2 New Cinema Labyrinth, everyone's favorite Persona-skinned version of Etrian Odyssey. According to Wikipedia, this game holds the distinction of being the final completely original physical game released for the Nintendo 3DS in North America, which means that there were 3DS games released after it, but none of them are actually worth a crap. Song 7 is the fun, ragtimey The Cinderella Tri-Stars from iOS game Fantasian, composed by the illustrious Nobuo Oematsu. This song kind of feels like a cousin to another ragtimey Oematsu composition from Final Fantasy IX called Sleepless City Traino that I played back on episode 20 about city music. For the penultimate song in the block, it'll be Buena's Password Show from Pokemon Crystal for the Game Boy. I don't know much about the Game Boy era Pokemon games, but doing my own research on the internet tells me that the shadowy cabal, what runs the world from the shadows, conspired such that my favorite Pokemon appears only once in this whole game. So, if you played this and you wanted more Snorlax, now you know who to blame. And finally in the block, it's Nice Weather, Ain't It, a track from Master of VGM Yoko Shimomura's soundtrack for Live Alive for the Super Famicom. Okay, club members, it's time to smile for some songs now.
songs were Opa Opa from Fantasy Zone, Stage 2 Magical Town from McDonald's Treasure Land, Angel Island Zone Act 1 from Sonic the Hedgehog 3, Specialist Nevermore P4D Edit Version from Persona 4 Dancing All Night, Popcorn from Persona Q2, The Cinderella Tristars from Fantasian, Buena's Password Show from Pokemon Crystal, and Nice Weather, Ain't It? from Live Alive. And now, for a word from our sponsor. Coming soon to a way off Broadway theater near you, it's the hottest new stage musical. That's right, it's Street Fighter the movie, the video game, the musical. We took the digitized video game based on the 1993 Street Fighter movie starring Jean Claude Van Damme and Raul Julia, based on the arcade video game, and we've turned it into a musical. Hear new classic show tunes like American Man from Belgium, Guile's Song, and The Cameraman, Ballad of Balrog. Featuring performers who were once in rooms with Broadway stars like Ben Platt and Idina Menzel. Catch this exciting touring production coming to your town soon. Now, back to the show. 
The Super Mercado Brothers podcast did a show on composer Masashi Hamauzu a few years ago, and one of the songs they played was Happy Melody from multi-platform game World of Final Fantasy. I heard it, and I knew immediately that I had to add this song to this playlist, and now I'm going to play it and credit both Hamauzu-san and the Mercados. This is an amazing perky song from a great soundtrack, and if you want to check out more of Hamauzu's stuff, I'll link that Super Mercado Brothers episode in the show notes. After that, it'll be Crescent Beach from Yoshi Safari for the Super Nintendo, composed by some combination of Yasushi Tokunaga, Yoshiki Nishimura, and Miyuki Uemura. Yoshi Safari is one of a very small number of SNES games that relies exclusively on the Super Scope, the system's odd light gun peripheral that was a weird combination of sniper rifle and bazooka. Look it up if you've never seen one and you'll get what I'm talking about. Our third song in our third music block is Roller Coaster Runner from The Flash for the Sega Master System. Flash seems like a difficult superhero to adapt to video games, but from what I've seen of this game, it looks like they tried to make a platformer that was similar to the early Sonic the Hedgehog games, and that's as good a route to go as any. This is one of only a handful of Master System soundtracks from composer Jero Tell, but he did a lot more soundtracks for the Commodore 64. Speaking of songs from games on systems where the composer is best known for his work on other systems, our fourth track is The Island of Everlasting Summer from Super Adventure Island for the SNES, composed by the incomparable Yuzo Koshiro. Just like Jiro and Tell on the Master System, there are only a handful of Koshiro soundtracks for the Super Nintendo, but all of them are transcendent. Song Roman numeral V in the block is After School from Persona 3 Portable, composed by Persona franchise cornerstone Shoji Megaro. Just like the Persona 3 track I played in the first block, this is one of the songs that plays during your free time after school. It reworks one of the motifs from a vocal track on the soundtrack into a brassy instrumental. Next up, it'll be Town, also known as Cheerful Street Corner, from Shining Force for the Genesis, composed by Masahiko Yoshimura. I love this track, and I love Shining Force. Minor spoiler alert from a 31-year-old game here, the ambiguous storytelling of the game's epilogue is one of my all-time favorite plot notes in a JRPG, and I also love how Yoshimura's soundtrack puts the cherry on top of a game that was my favorite strategy RPG for over 15 years. I did a little math, and 77.77777% of the songs in this block come before The Wonderful Bicycle from Pokemon Black and White for the DS, composed by Hitomi Sato. There are a lot of happy songs in the Pokemon series, probably because the games have a very cheerful facade that conceals their depth and also the distressing implications of their plots. The song in the 2 to the 3rd power slot in the block is My Friends from Mega Man Star Force 2 for the DS, composed by Marika Suzuki. I've never played anything in the Mega Man Star Force series or its predecessor series Mega Man Battle Network, but my podcasting bro Rage Cage played some tracks on his show VG Emporium that inspired me to dig into this series and wow, these soundtracks are good. Finally, we'll finish off the block with our ninth song, The Great Arch from Romancing Saga 3 for the Super Famicom, composed by Kinji Ito. Marvel Comics editor Stan Lee used to talk warmly about the Marvel bullpen of artists, writers, and others who worked on the comics, and I have similar feelings about the composers from Square's Golden Age, like Kinji Ito. That's all the talk I need to do. Let's hear some songs.
Those songs were Happy Melody from World of Final Fantasy, Crescent Beach from Yoshi's Safari, Roller Coaster Runner from The Flash, The Island of Everlasting Summer from Super Adventure Island, After School from Persona 3 Portable, Town, also known as Cheerful Street Corner from Shining Force, Bicycle from Pokemon Black and White, My Friends from Mega Man Star Force 2, and The Great Arch from Romancing Saga 3. That's the show! If you want to reach me, you can find me on Threads, Tumblr, or Instagram as Shujin Academy VGM Club. I'm also on Mastodon at Shujin Academy VGM Club at Mastodon.coffee. My username on Discord is Professor Tom, and I've just joined Blue Sky at Shujin Academy Social. All episodes of the show are posted to my YouTube channel, which you can find by searching for Shujin Academy VGM Club. You can email me at Shujin Academy VGM Club at gmail.com. All my links to everything are available on my link tree at linktr.e slash Shujin Academy. Please leave me a five-star rating on iTunes or Spotify or wherever you're finding this episode. New episodes are released once or twice a month, depending on how often I get them done, and they premiere on Thursday mornings on your favorite podcatcher and on 8bits.co, the internet's number one game music radio station. Special thanks for this episode goes out to fellow VGM podcaster Jameson of Bar Silence Podcast for contributing cover art and also for that coveted Blue Sky invite. You can and should find Bar Silence wherever you download podcasts and check out his website at barsilence.com. I've got one more song to play us out, and it's the adorable, cute little Tosus from the Famicom version of Final Fantasy III, composed by Nobuo Oematsu. Thank you for listening. I'm Professor Tom, and I'll see you next time on Shujin Academy VGM Club.